Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Well, we've come to that time and I think it's time we cracked a bottle of our sweet Nuki Brown open. We made this, um, it's probably around a month and a half ago now. They've actually been in these bottles for um, just under a month. Two carbonation drops in each bottle. If you didn't watch our bottling video, that's up on the channel, so you can always flip back and watch those. Uh, I also did some labels. There's a link to the website, and I've done a very short video on how to make your own labels, your beer bottle labels, actually. But we're getting back, we're doing the beer testing today. And the thing is with home brewing, you I, I like making the home brews, it's as simple as that. I think as I progress with it, the recipes will get better and you'll work out what you do and you don't like, you know, to do with the ingredients. But you want to drink it, it's as simple as that. You just want to drink the stuff. But as we all know, the longer you give it, the better tasting beer you're going to get. So a month is quite short but I think it's long enough to do an initial taste test. In a couple of months time uh, when it's matured a bit more and I crack another bottle open I will be doing another taste test on it just to see if it's that much better. Right then, okay it's nicely carbonated that is uh, Let's give it a little pour. Now it is quite dark this is. Got a bit of a head building on it. Now if you think about it, this is a copy of basically Newcastle Brown Ale. I mean look, look at that head. That has got a lovely head. It's beautiful. Hopefully it should keep. It is quite dark. I mean, I've got a bottle of Newcastle Brown Ale here, uh, which I've also had chilling in the fridge. I, I would say that that is exactly the same colour. It's got to be. So, the head's staying nice on it. There's, look at the bubbles on that glass. You can see all the way through the carbonation. You can see it flowing through it. Okay, let's go for a smell. And it smells very, very mild malt. Because when we brewed this, the malt was, um, it was through the roof, the smell. When I initially brewed it. It, it does smell really nice, that does. Like I say, um, very light, light malt smell to it. And it smells like a traditional brown ale to me, like a pub ale or a, or a bottled ale. So let's give it a taste. Oh, that's nice. That is proper nice. Oh, the carbonation for such a young beer has, has worked fantastic. I, I am well impressed with them carbonation drops that is a lovely point it's it's not overpowering i think the what was the percentage on that 5.2 percent this is when we did the uh og reading that's what it come out at um and obviously the final gravity was 5.2 i mean the the head hasn't kept all that much it's still got a tiny little bit and it's a very, I'd say, creamy caramel uh, type of head. I mean, you can't really see into the glass, but that is an absolutely beautiful pint. In a couple of months time, oh, that is going to be absolutely banged on, that is. Oh, cheers folks, that is nice. I'm well impressed with that. Obviously, it's our first home brew that I've ever done in my life. Um, 
We use the medium spray malt, obviously, Sweet Nuki Brown Kit from Wilkinson's, and one kilo of brewing sugar. And I think that was it that we used for that recipe. But I, I've, you know, I, I am over the moon. That is a lovely pint. And to be quite honest with you, I put, well, instead of putting one bottle in the fridge, I put 10 in there. Because, uh, and I'm glad I did because I think I'm gonna I'm gonna drink all this tonight. This is a nice session beer. It's not overpowering, and it isn't one of them beers that you're gonna get pissed off with and think, nah, I, I fancy something else. I have got in in my fridge. I've always got Newcastle Brown Ale, uh, Bass, which is my favourite beer, and it has been for a long time. Um, Mans, I always buy Mans Ale as well. They're the beers you're guaranteed are always in my fridge. I used to drink a lot of Guinness as well, uh, but I haven't brought Guinness for a long time. I am, I am impressed with that. The head has stayed beautiful. I can still see the carbonation going through it, as well as bubbles sticking to the side of the glass. That is, that is spectacular. I'm, I'm well impressed with that. Really impressed. I'm over the moon. <laughs> That's lovely. Like I said, in a month, two months, three months, this is going to get better and better and better. No doubt about it. That is beautiful. I truly wish you could taste it. I'm, I'm so overjoyed. For the first time ever, just buying all that equipment and, and everything else that I've brought, it, it's paid off. That has paid off. But anyway, I'm going to stand here all day babbling on, saying how brilliant it is, etc, etc. But, but it's the truth. It, it truly is. If you haven't checked out my other videos, check them out because it shows you from start to finish with this beer. There will be more videos on this beer because I've got 30 bottles of it left and there's, with the other stuff that I've brewed, there's no way I'll get through all of that um, anytime soon. I want to leave it to mature for a bit longer, but like I was saying, check out the other videos for the bottling, obviously, the brewing, the labelling, it's all there. Like I say, every week I'll be putting up a new video to do with home brewing. So, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, but you probably haven't unless you're drinking a beer yourself. And if you are, cheers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode, folks. Bye for now.